Good morning, no, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Redneck Lifestyle. Today, we have made this homemade spiker. It's to like soften the ground so that, you know, it puts holes so that the water can go in and actually make the grass grow. So, that is correct. It's a so, beautiful thing. We got water in it uh, to make it heavier. We, we made it this spiker, and this is because my lawn is so dry, it's so hard to ground. And uh, so I figured, okay, how do I do this? Cut this through or loosen it up? Something I had to. So I came up with an idea. I didn't weld everything. I had other people to weld too. So I made it, this is a tube. And then we welded spikes on there. And now me and Jessica here, we filled it up with water because okay. I tried it a little bit loose. You guys can see I was rolling here a little bit, but over there you can see it. Now, what we want to do, you see the bottom there, it's hitting. So basically the spikes are more or less all the way in. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try this out. So Jessica is going to drive slowly, and I'm going to show you guys how this uh, whole thing works. So let's see how that uh, does. And I am hoping that it's going to work very nice. So what we have here, we have a quad. My baby is so Red Robin. Just Jessica has a quad on there. And now we're going to try this out. So I'm going to show you. She is going to drive slowly, and it is almost all the way in. So we might need a little bit more uh, weight on it, but it is going. It's going pretty good. So then you guys can see how hard the ground is here. So the spikes, it's like a roller, and then he spikes it in. So we are trying it out, and uh, actually it does pretty good, but the ground. So now we're gonna try to see, but it's doing pretty good. More weight would be even better, but now you guys can see that the ground, very, very hard is the ground here. Very hard, but it goes in about three quarters of a way. And why I came up with this idea is I figure if it rains, now the holes are in there, loosens it up, and then the grass, they can grow even better. You guys can see there at the bottom how that goes nicely in. Very, very nicely the spikes going in there like that. Very happy with that so far how the whole thing is working so i'm uh, hoping that they you guys can see a little bit the gap on the bottom there that's still so hard altogether here so hard the ground so that the weight is not strong enough yet but i think we are doing it the quad has to work pretty hard as well. See? Yeah. So she is doing a pretty good job with that. And it does also the ground. You can't see it on the video, but the ground spikes pretty good through. And it's fairly nice and deep what the ground gets spiked through here I'm gonna show you guys it's doing pretty good job with that you guys can see that on the bottom still a little bit of gap some more weight even better so that goes in deeper and here you guys can see the spikes like this holes and they are nice and deep. So when it's gonna rain, the water can run better through this. So I think we did a pretty, pretty good job with this, with the whole thing all together. 
and uh, I'm very satisfied with this how this whole thing works you guys can see underneath the claw there it is almost all the way in so I think it's not a terribly bad idea what we did guys leave me some comments below there tell me what you guys think what we uh, or how we did and what your opinion is what I could have done different and uh, thank you very much for watching guys so Jessica is doing a very good job with that there thank you guys for watching please share subscribe and leave us a big fat thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel that we can grow our channel more so we're going to show you guys more stuff to come yet but this is one thing i figured out by myself to do this so we'll see how this is going to work and how my lawn is so maybe middle of the year i can uh, update you guys on my good lawn here so yeah the uh, quad is pulling pretty good finds out the weight also so Goodbye. So, thanks guys we'll talk to you on the next one